Okay, so we've got that all built up. It spins freely. There's no uh, binding in it, and the sh the hub, the center shaft is straight, not crooked. So now what I need to do is measure how far apart I need to make my bicycle forks. And by doing that, I'm just measuring how far out my jam nut or lock nut is, and it's about four inches. And then we're going to measure this portion here. And it's about three eighths. So four and three eighths needs to be the width because this is going to go inside that. So I need to measure that in. That's the width my fork out here needs to be. And uh, hopefully you can see that. We get about just shy of four inches. So each of those needs to come out uh, probably almost a quarter of an inch. And we just need to do it evenly on each side, whatever I decide to do. So we're going to bring those out, and then we should be able to uh, drop these in, weld those on, and the basic frame of the kick bike will be done. My goal, my goal was four and three eighths. We probably want that inside to inside. So I may need to go just a hair more. Four inches inside. I have to see where we're at. Another thing I noticed, the uh, wedge inside the handlebar. It's still on the inside of that guy. It's pretty rusted up in there. So I don't want that coming loose and clanking around in my lower tube down here. So I am going to either weld that where it is, which I would like to just get it out of there. So I'm going to try heating, putting some WD on it, heating it, and then banging it out of there before I uh, weld that piece in into the end. Didn't realize that sooner I would have had that out of there. So I'm going to remeasure the wheel, remeasure uh, the brackets, make sure I've got this uh, close to where it needs to be. If I need to heat it and bend it just a little bit more, I can. I just don't want to go past where I need to be and then have to come back. So I've got to quit for right now. Uh, I would like to continue this evening with this, but um, <laughs> i got to go pick up my kiddo and I've got a few other tasks I need to complete. Be before the day is done. Uh, I did kind of cut out a little uh, gusset pattern there to kind of see what that's going to look like. And I like it. I, I heated and bent this down and got that where it's pretty well touching now. I don't want to touch this pretty hot. Uh, and I got these pieces back here just tacked so that we can kind of line up uh, what I'm going to do with that. And then uh, trying to keep it flashlight here. Trying to keep it relatively uh, level throughout and we're pretty good considering I just kind of eyeballed bending all of that up. Uh, obviously this gap with the fender here uh, and the gap back here is not the same but I just have it sitting on there. Um, originally this bike had that wider, you know, it was the rear portion of the bike where these fenders went and so these actually mounted on the exterior part of that, the drop. So if we're looking at this, um, you can see when, when the bike axle was here, the fenders mounted up on this screw here. So I think I'm going to have to uh, either tack weld something on the end of those or bolt something on the end of them. Or I may be able to drill a hole in this uh, steel plate and raise them up enough where I can, I can lift that out a little bit. 
Otherwise, I'll just drill the rivets out up here and put a longer. I've got plenty of fenders there and down there. I could make something like that, which is more of a wire uh, fender stanchion. So that's easily changed. But um, for right now, this is kind of the mock-up. I found those old license plates. Those uh, Indiana. These are from 1947. Uh, I had a couple of those. I have a blue one too, so I may try and incorporate that somehow uh, on the on the kick bike. Uh, and then I, I think I talked about it in another video of putting this on the back for a tail light. I got the front one kind of mocked up, mounted up there with a clip. So I think it looked pretty cool with those on there. Hopefully tonight I have it where I can put tires on it and head out uh, down the neighborhood for a little spin. Uh, if I do. I put this gusset on. I need to remember that I'm going to have to slit whatever I slide on here. Obviously, the license plates are going to have to have something under them, some kind of timber or lumber under them. Uh, but for right now, this is the mock up we have. And I think I'm going to go with it. I, I think it's good enough. Uh, I obviously need to do some grinding and a little bit more welding. And I currently just have uh, these areas tacked. And I did just tack that back there. I just tacked this little guy so it would be level. Still a little warm even. Uh, and I'll obviously weld that all the way around. And then I'm definitely going to leave that hole there to mount the board. But I'll have to weld probably a couple tabs along the way to mount um, my platform and my, my kickboard onto that. So that's where we're at right now. I'm liking it. Can't wait to ride it. So it will stand up by itself, which that's a, a really good sign. Means I'm sort of close, I guess, to being uh, almost perfectly balanced. <laughs> uh, everything's just kind of roughed in. And I'm going to go round these guys off and make them a little nicer. And I'll probably round uh, these off as well make them fit. Uh, this is about as good as I can get to get that rear fender lined up. Uh, I have also made this little guy ready to go in for the board. And I've made a, a few little edits here instead of coming all the way back. And then I think I'm going to make that a little closer in uh, when I actually do it. I don't know if that's showing up really well or not, but there's a pretty good little gap uh, right there I'd like to do away with. Uh, and then I just recessed this hole. So I've got it all kind of sketched out on this piece of wood. And then I went ahead and drilled the hole for the bolt Oops. and just recessed it so that it'll sit down in there. Uh, and I'm going to use, I think, um, a bed reel. And we're just going to go like that. And this is hardened steel, unfortunately. I've welded this uh, piece before. And so drilling holes in it is a biatch, but it's pretty strong stuff. For the most part, your foot's going to be in the middle or near the middle. So I'm not worried about it coming out any further uh, and not having surface there. So what I'll do is I'll put one on each side and then that piece of wood uh, will go, that's just scrap left over from a shipping crate, will go there and then the license plates will go on top of that. So that's where we're at. Um, but yeah, it does have pretty decent balance. And then uh, I was thinking about making this my pivot point for my brake, for my spoon brake. I did uh, kind of shine up the handlebar, but just taking a wire brush to it, or a wire wheel, I guess I should say. Cleaned up pretty nice, and I raised that up um, about two inches. So that's where we're at. So. I was kind of playing around with doing something that's kind of a faux gas tank look, but yet kind of steampunked uh, wrap on top. That is just 
barely put up there. I didn't wrap the uh, the leather lacing evenly or anything like that. And then I was thinking about putting um, a zipper or a snap or something in it so it would open up uh, to make kind of a little trunk area for it. I don't know that I'm going to leave that there, but kind of from stepping back a little bit, I, I kind of like the look. It kind of incorporates that gusset there at the bottom, uh, kind of, you know, pointed figure eight kind of thing back. I, I, I'm kind of liking it, uh, but I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with that. And that's just some blue vinyl I had uh, laying around. So I don't know that I would like that. Or maybe cut a faux copper gas tank out of some of this copper that I have over here. And actually punching a hole in it and then copper using copper wire uh, to lace around. I actually was out on a trail run yesterday and came across uh, a big bundle of, of what I think is... Um, cable TV line and it's really nice uh, gauge copper wiring so I have a whole bundle of that I could use um, only had to carry it about two miles to the car that was it so what I'm gonna try and do really quickly I say quickly uh, try and do right now is get that gusset welded up on the tire side really uh, really good and then grind that area where I fitted that red pipe onto the bicycle tube and then I'll have to go and grind uh, this sloppy nasty mess back here and I do use a flux core welder so it's not as pretty a weld and it leaves this slag this is called slag and you kind of have to brush that off to get a, a good weld and really see what it's gonna look like it really the slag makes it look worse than it than it really is um, so I'll, I'll get that done, and then on the other side, I ground, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I ground this kind of smoothed it down. So I need to do the same on this side, and then I need to hit both of these and hit these fender brackets. Uh, so once I get that stuff welded up and ground, this thing's pretty much ready to uh, kind of put together. It's too cold right now to paint, so... I'll just have to write it for a little bit like it is, and then I'll have to paint it uh, a little bit later after it warms up. I think this weekend is supposed to be relatively warm, but we it's been just a wet couple days. So I did go ahead and cut the license plate uh, to go over that, and then those two will just tag on. I'll round off these corners, sand these off, and then I'm probably going to stain it with like a dark, um, almost like a black... I've got a gel stain here that I can use. Uh, so that's kind of my plan. We'll see how far I get before I am called away and needed for other things. I'm seeing another bent uh, spoke right there. I'll have to go through. There's another one there. Thought I got them all, but there, there are a few more I'm noticing. So I'll get that. Uh, I do think I'm going to paint the tire white and I'm going to paint the rims and the hubs white, I think and then tie in some additional pen striping uh, back here. Just bring, taper this back and maybe do something on the fenders and definitely do something on that little gusset there. So try and incorporate in uh, some of the white and maybe replace some of the white pen striping on this fender here that's kind of gotten rubbed off and maybe add the classic pen stripe down that front fork. So that's my plan. Let's see how far we can get.